This is Free Response Question 1 from the 2024 AP Calc AB exam. The temperature of coffee in a cup at time t minutes is modeled by a decreasing differentiable function c, where c of t is measured in degrees Celsius. For t between 0 and 12, selected values of c of t are given in the table shown. Part A asks us to approximate C prime of 5 using the average rate of change of C over the interval between 3 and 7. We must also show the work that leads to our answer and include units of measure. So C prime of 5 is a derivative, which we think of as an instantaneous rate of change. We can approximate it with an average rate of change over this interval from 3 to 7. That's just the slope of a secant line. So we'll calculate the change in the temperature and divide by the change in time. So coming down here to write our work, we are approximating C prime of five. We're using this interval from three to seven because five is in the middle of that interval. So with the given information, this is the best we can do. So we'll calculate the average rate of change over this interval. So subtract the temperatures, 69 minus 85. That will be our numerator, 69 minus 85. That's the change in temperature. And then we just need to divide by the change in time, which is 7 minus 3. 69 minus 85 is negative 16. And 7 minus 3 is 4. So this is negative 4. The degrees, the temperature, is being measured in Celsius, and the time is in minutes. So this is negative 4 degrees Celsius per minute. That's approximately the rate at which the temperature of the coffee is changing at t equals 5. So that's part A. Let's move on to part B. Use a left Riemann sum with the three subintervals indicated by the data in the table to approximate the value of the integral of c of t from 0 to 12, and then interpret the meaning of that integral divided by 12 in the context of the problem. So let's begin with the left Riemann sum. Coming up to look at our table, we're supposed to use three subintervals, so we'll have to go from 0 to 3, from 3 to 7, and from 7 to 12. Now let's just sketch these rectangles that are making up the Riemann sum. This rectangle from 0 to 3 is going to have a height of 100 because this is a left Riemann sum. So we use the left endpoint to determine the height of the rectangle. The next rectangle has a height of 85 because that's the left endpoint. So maybe that looks something like this. That has a height of 85. And then the final rectangle has a height of 69 because that's the left endpoint at t equals 7. So maybe that looks something like this. Using this Riemann sum, adding up the areas of these three rectangles, we will have an approximation of the integral of c of t from 0 to 12, an approximation of the area under the curve. So coming down here to write part b, the integral from 0 to 12 of this temperature function, c of t dt, is approximately the sum of the areas of these rectangles. The first rectangle has a base length of 3 and a height of 100, so 3 times 100. The second rectangle has a base length of 4 and a height of 85, so its area is 4 times 85. The third and final rectangle has a base length of 5 and a height of 69, so its area is 5 times 69. This is part of the calculator section, so you can use your calculator to quickly find this equals 985. So that is our approximation using a left Riemann sum with three subintervals of this integral value. That's the approximation. But we're not done with part B because part B also asks us to consider the integral we just approximated divided by 12. What's the meaning of that thing? Well, it's adding up the temperatures from 0 to 12 and then dividing by the length of the interval, dividing by 12. That's how you calculate average temperature. It only asks us to interpret this expression. It doesn't ask us to approximate it, though if we did want to approximate it, we could simply take 985 and divide by 12. 
but the interpretation is that it's the average temperature of the coffee in the cup over the interval from 0 to 12. Again, it's like adding up all the temperatures and then dividing by 12, the length of time. Moving on then to part C. For T between 12 and 20, the rate of change of the temperature of the coffee is modeled by C prime of T equals this expression, where C prime of T is measured in degrees Celsius per minute. Find the temperature of the coffee at time t equals 20 and show the setup for your calculations. So this will be pretty straightforward. We'll just take the last value we were given in our table. At t equals 12, we know the temperature is 55. And then we can use this derivative, this rate of change, to integrate and accumulate the temperature from t equals 12 up to the desired time at t equals 20. So down here, what is the temperature of the coffee in the cup at time t equals 20? Well, it's going to be the temperature of the coffee at time t equals 12, which was given as 55. And then we will accumulate the rates of change from that time at t equals 12 up to the desired time at t equals 20. We're going to integrate c prime of t, which is given to us. So we'll use a graphing calculator and integrate this given derivative from t equals 12 to t equals 20. So pulling up the graphing calculator, I'll press the math button, and then I will press option 9 for the integration function. We are integrating from t equals 12 to t equals 20. And the thing we're integrating is this derivative. So we'll just be careful and type that derivative in. And rather than using the variable t, we will use the variable x since that's most convenient on the calculator. So we're integrating this with respect to x and we get negative 14.671. But of course, coming down to part c, we know that we also have to add 55 to this. That was the initial temperature, so to speak, at time t equals 12, which is where we started the integral. So adding 55, we get our answer of about 40.329, and that is in degrees Celsius. Finally, moving on to part d, for the model defined in part c, it can be shown that the second derivative equals this expression here. For t between 12 and 20, determine whether the temperature of the coffee is changing at a decreasing rate or at an increasing rate, and give a reason for our answer. We know that the rate of change of the change of the temperature is described by the second derivative. So if this second derivative is positive in this interval, that means the derivative is increasing. And so the temperature would be changing at an increasing rate. If the second derivative is negative, then the first derivative is decreasing. And so the temperature of the coffee would be changing at a decreasing rate. So let's just use our graphing calculator to graph this function and see what its behavior is, positive or negative, on this interval from 12 to 20. All right, I've typed the second derivative into the graphing calculator, and here it is. We can see at a glance that the second derivative is certainly positive for t between 12 and 20. That's what the graph suggests. And looking at the function, that makes sense because 0.2455 is positive, e to a power is always positive, 100 minus t is positive on this interval, and t squared is also positive. So yeah, second derivative is positive, so the first derivative is increasing. So since the second derivative is positive on the given interval, the temperature of the coffee is changing at an increasing rate. And that completes our solution to free response question one from the 2024 AP Calc AB exam. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions and be sure to check out my Calculus One course and Calculus One exercises playlists in the description for more. Also check out my 10 hours of AP Calc AB BC FRQs if you're looking for a little bit more practice. Thanks for watching. Uh, uh, I'm the mathematical menace, the machinations of mankind. Two calculators at the same time, hand signs and abacus, finger count and calculus. I'm the V to the T, my parameter, the rapidest. Happens like this, my lectures, the most prominent, dominant. Call me the Morgan, I get the compliments. The union in together like any time that we intersect, cause my opponents know they need.